All right, everybody, welcome back. We're going to be taking a look at working with buttons and binding them in with uh, Preact here. So before we actually went and covered how we can close the web view from inside by binding it to escape, but let's go ahead and actually work a little more in depth with what Preact has to offer. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a just a some kind of interface to just modify like health, spawn vehicles, and all that sort of stuff. We're just going to do a basic interface that'll just let us click on things and it'll do things in game for us. So let's go ahead and cover how that's going to work. So this first button, we're going to do something called, I don't know, like spawn vehicle. So we'll call this, uh, we'll make a H element. We're going to get we're going to throw a button in there because that's the div type. Then we're going to do a class of, um, well, we'll just, we won't use a class actually, because we'll go ahead and stylize everything or we won't even stylize it. Who knows? <laughs> we'll work with it when we get there, but let's add a button and let's say this one is going to spawn an Akuma and we're going to give it an ID of Akuma. Okay. And in order to get this to function with on click, we do comma on click colon, and then we need to put our function here. So in order to bind this to our function, we need to first create that function. So let's call this spawn Akuma, or we'll call this spawn vehicle is what we'll call it. And then we'll have the uh, element here. All right, so if we console log E like that, and then we do this spawn vehicle, bind this. It is now bound to this button specifically. So if we go into our browser and we hit F12 to open up the console, you'll see we have the button here. So if I click on Spawn Akuma, you'll see we get an event. This event, we can determine which vehicle is spawning because we specified it inside of an ID. We can go to target and then down here we can see Akuma. So in order to get the vehicle type, it would be e target id all right and we can do if alt in window then we can do ultimate spawn vehicle and then we could pass the vehicle type which is a string all right we'll call this vehicle model to make it a little more straightforward so let's take this event here and we're going to hook that up into client side so if i go over to client.mjs we need to add an event for this to happen inside of the web view. So we can do web view on handle this event here and we can do spawn vehicle. Okay. Now let's go down here. We'll do function spawn vehicle. Pass the model as an argument there. And then we're going to emit this up to the server. So spawn vehicle is what we're going to call that as well. And we're going to pass the model up to the server. So let's copy this same event. We're gonna go all the way over to the server now. And down here, well, we have a one for vehicle here. So let's try and work our way into this. So the way that we can do that actually, is we're gonna do alt on client, handle the event, so spawn colon vehicle. And if you remember, the first parameter is the player and the second parameter is the model. Okay. So now we have this function here with no uh, use. So what we're going to do is we're just going to copy this portion here. We're going to paste that right in there. And if we change this arg0 out for model, that will allow us to spawn the vehicle. So instead of you reusing code like we are here, um, we're going to actually change this because that would be normally how we would handle it. But let's go ahead and make this a little more efficient. So if you noticed, I already had two sets of code here. So let's not copy that and let's pass this as, as a new function. So we'll call this function spawn vehicle. It'll need the player and then the model, okay? And then we could put model here. And the next step would be adding that information here. We can do spawn vehicle, player, and then arg0. And then up here in this other one, we can actually just directly invoke it by doing spawn vehicle, just like that. So that will allow us to easily add these two types of spawning vehicle 
uh, together. So now when I go in game and I run this interface, I should be able to click on it and it will spawn a vehicle for me. And it will also warp us into the vehicle. So we're going to go ahead and do that. All right, so we're going to do load page. There's our button up here. I'm going to click on it and it immediately put us in the vehicle and I can close out the menu by pressing escape. So there we go, that's our first iteration of working with an interface. Now we have a button that we can work with. So this is generally how we work with um, interfaces inside of, or with Preact. This is how we create them, uh, especially for Alt-V and you know manipulating things and, su and such. So what if we wanna spawn a whole bunch of vehicles? Uh, one way that we can do this is actually we can make a little list here and we want to make a bunch of buttons for them. So in order to do that, we're going to make uh, something called vehicles. And we're just going to put some vehicles inside of here. Um, so let's do like a Washington. We'll do the Akuma. We'll do an Infernus, a Cheetah. And let's do a Banshee as well. All right, so we have uh, five different vehicles in here. So if I want to add buttons for every single one of these items that's in this list, I need to do something called mapping. Now mapping is a way to basically spread out the material that we have or all the different vehicles and we can assign them and create a similar button for each one of them. So we're going to do this. We're going to do render vehicles is what we're going to call it. Okay. And in render vehicles, we're going to make a list of vehicles. So we're gonna do this state vehicles, and then we're gonna map it. And then for each vehicle inside of vehicles, so if you remember, we scroll up here and we look at this, these are all strings. So this down here is a string as well. So this would be a string, okay? So if we do return H, and then we do button, and if we do ID, and we're gonna put the vehicle uh, variable here, so now it's now it can be Washington or Akuma or anything else. And then we're going to bind it as well. So if we do on click this dot spawn vehicle bind this. OK, and that's all we need to do to make multiple buttons and append them to this array. OK, and now we just need to return that. So if we do H and then div and we're gonna just skip this portion here and we're gonna toss in vehicles right here. So that's gonna return us a list of vehicles. So let's go ahead and get rid of this portion of code here. And instead, we're gonna do this render vehicles bind this, okay? So now when we refresh this page, you'll see that each one of them is represented there, but they do not have a name. So we need to give them a name. So if we add a comma after this curly brace over here, this is where it displays the text. So we can do vehicle, and now it has a name. Washington, Akuma, Infernus, Cheetah, and Banshee. Okay, so let's go ahead and control C to end our server. We're gonna load it up again, and then we're gonna try spawning a whole bunch of different vehicles, just to see what happens. Okay, so let's do load page. Here's our vehicles. I'm gonna spawn a Washington. Then I'm going to spawn an Akuma, and then I'm going to spawn my Infernus, and then I'm going to spawn my Cheetah, and then my Banshee. So as you can see, it is actually working pretty well, other than the fact that we just spawned a bunch of vehicles on top of each other. You can see that all of the buttons worked, which is intentionally what we were aiming for here. So now that we have that, we kind of have a base understanding of how to make lists of things, and then add functionality to them based on that list. So in this instance, we have a way to spawn several different vehicles, Washington, Akuma, Furnace, Cheetah, Banshee, etc. So that ends our little brief tutorial and section on Preact. And I hope you learned something about this little section here. And we'll mo be moving on to incorporating a lot of this stuff together to create different resources and hopefully work with some natives so you guys can understand that as well. But that's all for now.